Welcome to Mama Mentality where I talk about all things marriage, motherhood, and mental health. In today's video, I'm going to be sharing tips on how to journal and how you can use journaling as a way to improve your mental well-being. I've shared in previous videos how I really enjoy journaling because it's just a way for me to release any thoughts or emotions that I have in my mind. Journaling for me is just an outlet. It's just a way that I can really organize my thoughts and it allows me to think a lot more clearer in my day-to-day -day life because I have that escape. Some of the reasons why I really enjoy journaling is because it allows me to be a lot more mindful in my day-to-day -day life because I am not having any heavy feelings or thoughts in my mind that keep coming up. I've also noticed how journaling has really increased my insight on certain events that may happen in my life or just feelings that I'm having. I realized that when for example, if I have a dream the night before or if something stressful happened in my life and I journal about it, when I'm done journaling, I'm able to have a lot more insight on the situation and see it from a different perspective that I probably wouldn't have thought of if I didn't journal about it. Another reason why I enjoy journaling is because it really allows me to regulate my emotions. Sometimes whenever we experience something difficult, we immediately want to react on impulse. And with journaling, I'm able to really lay out what it is that I'm feeling and why I'm feeling this way. Using that method, it allows me to regulate my emotions without constantly having to overreact or overthink particular situations in my life. Journaling has also allowed me to really make room for positive change in my life. A lot of the times it's very easy for us to get stuck in a mindset where we are mainly just paying attention to the negativity that we face in our life. So using journaling as a way to place that negativity on a piece of paper and leave it there as opposed to letting it affect the way I view my life, I've noticed that I am able to have a lot more room to create positivity and create a more positive mindset. So one of the first tips is really just writing down whatever comes to your mind. Even if the first thought is like, I don't know what to say. Literally write that down, I don't know what to say. And that sentence alone can spark more ideas in your mind because why is it that you don't know what to say? Is it because maybe you've just had a really bad day and you don't know how to put it into words? or maybe you feel like you're judging yourself. Where is that judgment coming from? The second tip I have is using journaling prompts to help you with writing in your journal. Sometimes it can be really difficult to write down what is on your mind. So if you're having trouble with that, Pinterest has lots of ideas on journaling prompts. But if you just want something simple, one of the journaling prompts that I usually resort to is writing down the highlight of my week and then writing the low of my week because you're able to really reflect on the highs and lows of your week and usually I like to end that particular prompt with what it is that I'm looking forward to. Using this prompt is a great way to just reflect and be appreciative for the good in your life and learning from the lows in your life and then always knowing that there's something to look forward to. Another tip when journaling is always ending your entry with a positive affirmation or expressing gratitude. Sometimes whenever we journal, it can get really dark and really deep very quickly. And a lot of the times we don't even mean for it to get that way. It's just that sometimes when we have a lot of feelings that we keep inside that we don't share with anybody, it can really show up whenever you start to explore and reflect. And that's okay because the more you release these emotions, the more you'll be able to have a much clearer mind and just a much more positive outlook on life. That's why it can be useful to add a positive affirmation or expressing gratitude towards the end of your entry because 
you are reminded that yeah you may have a lot of these deep dark emotions but you have positive qualities about yourself and you have many blessings in your life that need to be appreciated as well which leads me to my next tip which is don't judge yourself or be too critical on yourself I think a lot of the time we go about our lives being really hard on ourselves and especially when it comes to emotions a lot of the time we feel like we shouldn't feel these vulnerable emotions but that is part of being human I think using journaling as a way to have that safe space where you won't be judged you won't be criticized and it's okay to mess up that's the wonderful part of journaling nobody is grading you nobody is judging you on your work it's just you your pen and paper and reminding yourself that this is the place where you can mess up even sometimes when I'm journaling my sentences may not make sense and that's okay because this is just for me and my thoughts and for nobody else which leads me to my last tip there are no rules when it comes to journaling you don't have to write perfectly you, your grammar doesn't have to be perfect but being able to write down whatever is on your mind is just for you to explore and expand on your feelings and your thoughts and that's really what journaling is all about it's really easy for us to carry negative energy with us whenever we experience difficult things in our life and journaling is just that one thing that you can use as an outlet I like to view journaling as like my little escape from reality because I notice that when I do journal it's almost as if I'm writing to someone um, and that someone is actually myself and so just being able to be like this is what happened during my day or this is what is, has been really heavy on my mind lately and this is why. Don't feel bad, don't feel guilty for some of the thoughts that may come up even if they're thoughts that aren't as pleasant. Don't feel guilty for that. If anything, you being able to write it down is just a way to release that thought and let it go. I notice that when I'm able to write down those uncomfortable feelings or those uncomfortable thoughts it's like a sense of relief that I get because I know i had been feeling it but I hadn't really addressed it so these are just simple tips that I wanted to share with all of you because I know that journaling can be very anxiety provoking especially if expressing yourself is not something you're really used to doing it can be very challenging to begin with so just using some of these ideas and also being mindful of the why behind journaling and really trying to set a small and attainable goal for yourself when it comes to journaling even if it's writing five sentences a day or writing in your journal when you wake up just setting very small goals for yourself can help keep you motivated as you start this journey or continue this journey. A lot of the time we can discover so much about ourselves when it comes to journaling and I feel like that is something that everybody deserves to do. That is all the tips for today. I would love to hear from you in the comments and let me know what are some challenges that you face when it comes to journaling or what are some tips that have helped you. If you enjoyed today's video, please like, comment, subscribe click the little bell notification so you can be notified when I post new videos. My name is Rochelle, this is Mama Mentality. I post videos every Sunday and like always, I am sending love and light your way. Bye!